Hey everyone, it's me back again to do another video. Um, if you're wondering why I look so weird, it's because I'm wearing zero makeup right now. Um, today is Friday, which is like my workout day. So um, typically, yeah, I don't really do anything special. So my hair is all whatever today and I'm wearing my workout outfit, so it is what it is. But um, I wanted to actually come and do another fun convention story for you guys. And I thought, um, this would probably be one of my more entertaining stories. And it's kind of funny, but I do feel like listening to other people's painful <laughs> stories is pretty hilarious sometimes. Um, so I am going to be telling you guys today about my worst cosplay convention story. Um, don't worry, there is no graphic violence or anything crazy like that in here, but just the situation itself was crazy and out of control. So, I'm going to bring you guys back probably, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago. And um, I want to say I was probably around um, 20 at the time when this happened, maybe 19 or 20. So, pretty much every year when we would go to the convention, we would have like my group of friends and we get a hotel room and we just split the cost. So, of course, you know, being right out of high school and most of us in college and everything, um, hotel costs, especially in downtown Seattle, can be really, really expensive. And so our idea was we should try to invite more friends to share the hotel room with us. So then that way our costs for everything goes way down. So this is um, kind of the first mistake I made. So for me, I have a lot of friends in different friend groups. Um, and one of those just happened to be um, family friends that are... Um, friends with my mom. They have a daughter who was close to my age who I had hung out with and seen a lot. And uh, we've gotten along pretty well. She kind of had a different personality than mine. Um, she was like a little more introverted. Um, but I thought, you know what, it'll be fun. Like I'll invite her. We'll all go have a good time together. So we invite this other girl. So um, in total, it was me, um, three of my friends I was really close to, and then my family friend who I had invited. So it was me and four other girls. So the first day goes pretty well. She's just kind of quiet, follows us around, does whatever we're doing at the convention. Um, I don't think she had ever done like a full weekend there, so it was kind of new to her. And um, so first day goes well, we're there on Friday, um, checking the hotel, whatever, everything's going fine, everyone's getting along. Um, then we, um, you know, go out to the evening activities. Um, I don't think she actually went with us to them. I can't remember. Um, it was just kind of like a very uh, normal day. So on Saturday is when the trouble started. And I'll just go to the very start of the story, which was, um, so the situation was I was doing a photo shoot as Sarah from Labyrinth in her vest, her white shirt, her jeans, you know, that classic like 80s uh, outfit that she wears. And um, at the time, I um, had a friend who was a photographer who was down there doing photo shoot time slots for people, and I had signed up for one of them. So I had told my friend group this like way before um, we had ever gone to the convention, so they knew to like expect it. And I was like, either you guys can come with me and like hang around because it's outside, or you can go off and like do your own thing, it doesn't matter. So my group of friends decide they're going to come with me and like kind of hang around. So um, the Seattle Convention Center, the nice thing about it is it has this huge, huge outdoor area called, um, oh my God, now I'm blanking. It is something park and it's um, just this really big outdoor area that's right outside the Convention Center and it has um, like a paved pathway, stairs, it has waterfalls, it's just really beautiful. And there's tons of places that you can get pictures taken. So like most cosplayers that do photo shoots uh, go out there and take pictures somewhere. So we're going and I meet up with my, my uh, photography friend and um, she's like, okay, well, let's go take pictures on the steps. Let's go take pictures around. There's like these big cement columns you can kind of climb up on. And so we're thinking, okay, it's kind of similar, similar background to like labyrinth. So like, we'll go take them up there. So I'm kind of having trouble because I have a bag with me, like a purse and, um, Everywhere I keep putting it, um, people end up being. And so it's like making me nervous to have it out in the open. And um, so my friends who are kind of hanging around, um, 
they see me struggling with it and my family friend comes up and she's like, oh, I'll hold on to it for you. So I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. So I like give it to her. And um, so we do this photo shoot for maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, I see my friends kind of wandering around outside. I'm like keeping an eye on them. And then at some point I lose where they've gone off to. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just find them after I'm done with this. Obviously they don't wanna like wait around for me. So um, after the photo shoot happens, I go to Wander to find my friends and I walk around every single outdoor area and I can't, I can't find them. They were just gone. And I'm like, well, this isn't good. Um, they have my bag. And so I'm like, well, maybe they went back in the convention center. So I'll just go back in there and try to find them. So I like walk up to the doors and then suddenly I have this horrible sinking feeling because I realized something. And that's when I was doing the photo shoot, I had taken off my convention badge and I had put it in that bag. And when that happens, it means you cannot go back in the convention center. And I am in, like imagine if the convention center has like a backyard kind of area. So that's like where I was. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is bad. Um, I'm assuming that they're in the shopping hall because that's where people go when they would just wanna like wander around for a while. And I can't go in there to find them. And they have my entire bag, which means they have my phone, my wallet, my convention badge, and everything I would need to do anything at this point. So I'm freaking out internally and going, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And so I'm just kind of like wandering around outside. So the other bad thing is that where our hotel was situated is it's closer to go through the convention center and out the front than it was to have to go all the way around. So there I am like outside walking all the way around the convention center and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just go back to the hotel and eventually they'll come back there. And um, so I take the long way back to our hotel and I get there and I get up to the room and then I realize, crap, they have my hotel key too. So now I'm like really upset. I don't really know what to do. I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, I can't go to the... I can't get in the convention center to try to find them. I can't call them because I don't have my phone. I don't have my wallet, so I can't even go and like sit in a Starbucks and have a cup of coffee. And now I don't have um, my hotel key card, so I can't even wait in the room. So I'm like hanging out outside the hotel room and I literally just sit on the ground and I'm in like the worst mood now. Um, I'm thinking like in my head, how did my friend wander off with my entire bag of my life and everything in it and not even think like, hmm, she might need this stuff at some point. So I'm like really frustrated. And then I'm like hanging around outside the hotel room and then I realize, well, maybe I can go down to the front desk and I can ask for them to let me in my room. But then I'm realizing I don't have my ID on me. And typically if you get locked out of your hotel room or something and you tell the, the front desk staff they wanna see your ID to like make sure you're not someone that's just you know trying to break into the room or something weird like that. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just sit out here. So I sit out there for maybe 10 more minutes and then I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna go down to the front desk and attempt to have them let me in and hopefully they'll just say yes and feel bad. So I go down there and I ask them like, hey, I got locked out of my hotel room. Is there any way someone can let me in? And of course they ask for my ID and I'm like, I don't have it. My friends took my purse without me realizing and I don't have my wallet. I'm like on the verge of tears at this point. And I'm like, I don't have any of my stuff. and I don't know what to do. And so I think the, the front um, desk staff felt like bad for me. So they're like, oh, okay, it's okay. We're gonna like have someone let you in. So just go up to your door and I'll call a staff member to come unlock it for you. So I go upstairs and I'm like super red in the face and I'm really embarrassed. And I'm just like, I hate everyone at this point. This is like the worst day ever. So I go up there and a staff member comes up and he unlocks my door and lets me in. And then I go inside and I just sit down and I watch TV. And I watch TV for like an hour because I'm like, I'm pretty much so upset at this point. I don't want to think about anything. I don't want to interact with anyone. I, I'm just like sit down and zone out watching TV. And um, it was worse too, because typically when we go to conventions, we don't really bring like food with us. Um, this was at a point where we weren't sure if uh, the convention uh, or the hotel would have 
refrigerators so we didn't want to bring like snacks because we couldn't refrigerate them so like you know we'd bring a few dry food things or whatever but besides that um we pretty much by the second day you know have to go out and buy all of our food so i'm like sitting there and i'm like really hungry and i don't have my wallet so i can't go get anything to eat and i'm just like sitting there watching tv just waiting so eventually my friends do come back and they're like, where have you been? And I'm like, I literally could not go into the convention center because you have my badge. So all of my three girlfriends look at my family friend and they like all look over at her. And then she like looks at my bag and she's like, oh yeah, you're right. I guess I do have your badge. And I was like, how does no one realize this? Like I was, I was so ready to scream at someone. So I was like, no, stay calm, stay calm. It's gonna be fine. And so I was like breathing. And I'm like, just give me my bag and no one will get hurt. And so, yeah, that is, um, and that's, the funny thing is that wasn't even like the craziest, I guess it wasn't, it was the worst thing that happened that weekend, but it wasn't the craziest. Like so many other things went wrong and it was so bad. And um, I still had a really fun time, but it just kind of like learn from my mistakes. Do not let someone take your bag if there is something in it that is very, very important that if they walk away and you can't find them, something bad will happen. Um, I also got really lucky because my friends came back after like an hour or two of not finding me when I feel like a lot of people's friends would just be like, oh, they're probably at the convention and at a panel. Like, we'll just go back later tonight and like leave someone locked out of their room for five or six hours. So it happens. So be careful. Um, I would also say not to put your badge in your purse because if your purse gets stolen or something too, you're going to be out of luck. I would say to tuck your badge into a pocket or tuck it somewhere into your costume so you can still get into the convention center if you need to. Um, it also probably would have solved my problems because they could have announced their names over the loudspeakers and they could have come and found me way earlier if I could have at least gotten inside. Um, so yeah, everyone learned from my mistakes, as funny as they may be. Um, anyways, thanks everyone for uh, watching and listening to my uh, painful story and uh, I will be back again to um, tell you more funny stories and tips and things. So yeah, it's Friday. My brain is whew, like out the window right now. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.